Alan thinks designer labels are the answer to his fashion faux pas, but he still gets it wrong. So I'm going to prove his fashion fix lies on the British high street. After styling people for 14 years, yeah. I've never actually met a man that dresses like you. Oh. Okay, so, so how would you describe your overall style, Alan? Well, I don't, the, the, I don't care. So when you put this on today, yeah. what was going through your head when you were thinking about this today? <laughs> I'm panic. Death. No, honestly, I open the wardrobe, stick my hand in, and whatever I get at the end comes out. Right, okay. Surely you must care slightly about how you look, because you don't want to be papped when you're looking no. right. No, I, the thing is, when you've got a face like mine, it don't matter what you wear. I do treat myself when these big do's come along and I, I went to Armani, you know those lovely simple brown coats and yeah. I was like, no, Gorgeous. just, oh, I put it on I look like a janitor <laughs> <laughs> I thought, what do I accessorise with this? A mop and a dustbuster <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Well, I'm going to have a little look now, so you take a seat Alan Carr, and I'm going to go into your closet. Alright. Alright, okay <laughs> me <laughs> Is it that bad? <laughs> What is going on well, with this? I got it from the same shop that I got this. <laughs> oh, my. Where did you wear this? Did you buy this for an event? No, no, I'd, I'd, had, a, I'd had a drink. No, just a little one. <laughs> it's nice! It's nice! Look at the little face! Look at his face! This is, this is quite potentially, all these years, actually the worst garment I've ever seen. You inside. liar! <laughs> I discover soon it's not what you wear, but the way you wear it. That's okay. Alex, that, no, that's next. That's next. <laughs> oh, that's Alexander McQueen. That's Alexander McNext. <laughs> if someone gives it to you, you don't want to throw it away. So did someone give that yeah, to you? Yeah, I had that for the uh, Sunday night project. Oh, did they like you? <laughs> this is quite nice, YMC. Yeah, I like that. I love that. I saw... What's this? Put it on. Let me have a look on. Watch me turn this right, okay, into something my nan would wear <laughs> while she's watching Poirot. <laughs> Look at that! I'm baffled. I can't Nothing work Nothing suits me. My body has rejected this cardigan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice. Is it? Well, Dolce & Gabbana, love. Yeah, but just because it's a label, Alan, doesn't mean it's going to look nice, does oh, it? Oh, I... Do you do that? Do you think, right, OK, yeah. it's Chanel, it's Dolce, and, and the it... more money you spend, the nicer you're going to look, and then you feel very disappointed that you've spent half your mortgage on a T-shirt. Yeah. It's like the shortest T-shirt like I've ever seen. It's like sprinkling out hundreds and thousands on dog <laughs> OK. And this is um, Givenchy. OK, so you've got... I mean, we're talking now some of the best labels. I know. Oh, my God, that is beautiful. You see, that is nice, isn't it? It's, put it on, let me see. Three buttons, not great for your shape, I have to say, because we need to try and bring in a little bit more waist. But having said that, if you do two buttons up, you get slightly more waist and you always leave the bottom one open. Do you know why? Why is that? Because men put their hands in their pockets, so what you do is it gives you a bit of movement. I have to say, the one thing that I have noticed from your wardrobe so far is a lot of the stuff is ill-fitting. What we need to do now is we need to start working on building up a nice wardrobe for you that all the time, whether you're at work or not, on stage or not, yeah. you can feel fabulous.